All right, so we've been looking at a lot of Ashiwaza lately, meaning techniques where we take our point down with our feet. And um, a lot of the Ashiwaza that we've been going over is uh, what's considered more like minor Ashiwaza, meaning like things like dash to rise, to side, where you use what is uh, most traditionally known as like using the foot to block your opponent or shoot your foot's weight out from And while those are very good techniques to eventually master, they can be hard to. It can take time. Why? Because there's a lot less contact between you and your opponent. The less contact there is between you and your opponent, the less beginner friendly a technique tends to be. The more contact there is between you and your opponent, the more beginner friendly a specific technique tends to be. I don't think there's anybody in this room here today that can call themselves an expert, not even myself included, at Ashiwaza, meaning at, at foot technique. Okay? So for that reason, let's ask ourselves a question. If Ashiwaza, meaning foot technique where I use my foot to take my foot down, is hard to learn, is there any Ashiwaza I can start to go for where I can expect to hit it earlier? Okay? You just want them to be like, Coach, just give me something I can be dangerous with, and I'll keep working on the minor foot techniques, but give me something I can be dangerous with for the time being. I'm glad you asked. A set of Ashiwaza you can use off the off and start to be more dangerous sooner with is major ashiwaza, meaning techniques where you use major loops. Okay? These would be techniques like, say, for example, Osorogari, where I take my foot up on that point of slide, and now with a major reap, I'm able to take him down. Okay? I'm going to teach you Osorogari now. First, let's understand the mechanics behind Osorogari. Osorogari is a technique where you're going to load with Kazushi, weight onto your opponent's leg, and as you load that weight onto your opponent's leg, we will have an action leg that now comes through and we'll chop that leg out from under our opponent as your opponent's upper body continues to go over and there's your throw, okay? So understand that the key to a good Osorogari is to weight your opponent's leg, and then once all the weight is loaded on that leg, then we'll cut it out from under him, and that's where you're gonna get the power of your throw, okay? So the Kazushi is crucial. From here, we're head to head with each other, I take my rear hand, I call time out of the I take his head off line, and I shoot under hook with my elbow hot immediately. From here, your opponent's savvy. He knows that if that leg stays close, I'm going to start to harass that leg and take it out. So he starts to take that leg far. But as one leg leaves, the other one trails. So from here, I'm going to start to focus on attacking now his right leg. From here, we're head to, uh, uh, we're head jousting. It's not uncommon for you and your opponent to start to try to score this wrist. If he scores this wrist, I'm going to keep a loose wrist on my own end. I pull my hand inside, and now I have his wrist. From here, I will step across my opponent's body, so I'll take a power step, and now from here, I'll take my leg through and I'll start to load. Now, it's tempting to want to go for the Osorogari right from here, meaning you just want to launch this guy. And to be honest with you, sometimes you might get it. Sometimes you might actually be able to launch somebody from there. However, you're making things a little bit harder than they have to be. Take a moment, as you hook, one, two, I will hop up, now the Kazushi is perfectly set. Okay, this is what, what John refers to as the point of Kazushi. Meaning that point where if even a feather touched your opponent, he would go over. As I load all that weight onto that foot, now I'm gonna reach my right leg through. And there's our drop. Okay, there's our Osoto Okay? So again, the temptation is to, as soon as you hook, you wanna go for the Osoto Gari. A good guy will be able to counter you off of that. If you're, if you're, uh, if you're being, um, uh, What's the word when you want something? Greedy. Greedy, when you're being greedy. If you're being greedy, okay, they'll counter you off that. Good Junoko will counter you. Don't be greedy. Take the time to set it up. One, two, and then from there, go. I'm in front of my opponent. I call it tie. I take his head offline, and I get to my underhook. Off here, I'm trying to harass that knee like he's dragging a wrist. I pull my wrist inside. Step one, two, pop, pop, and there's our throw. Okay? Notice I'm not dropping my body weight onto Drew. I'm staying up and controlled. Because in our sport, the amplitude of the throw doesn't matter. What matters is if you can control it. One more time. Head to head, and collar tie, bring it off behind, and I shoot my other hook. I try it the but I'm not getting it. I pull my wrist inside, I step and I hook. Off that hook, I hop, I hop, he's loaded, and I'm here with a good situation to uh, Okay, I'll do one, two, three.